It's Friday morning, May 23rd, 2014, and we're on our way to Robin Hood, Saskatchewan. This is the rail line that the Canadian National laid down through here in 1928. This was their Robin Hood sub from Spears on the Denholme Prince Albert line over to Turtleford, 101.5 miles. Looking north up Range Road 160, Highway 3 is about 10k to the north. CN discontinued service on the Glaslin Spears reach of the Robin Hood sub on January the 18th, 2008, and pulled up the rails a couple of years later. There's a station here, a freight passenger shelter that was dropped off in 1928 at mile 61.0 from Spears. It was sold off in 1968. And here's access into Robin Hood and the Hall. Saskatchewan Wheat Pool built elevator 938 in 1926 at Robin Hood. It was closed in 1977 and moved to a farm. And this is it here, thanks to Jim Pearson in Vanishing Sentinels number two. Spencer Grain built in 1927 and it was closed in 1936 by Western Grain. And this is Ask Elevator Company, built in 1928, and it was closed by Federal Grain in 1970. Oh. Well, there's still a cross on it. And a little house out behind. Looks like a pump house here. Probably installed by the Rural Municipality of Parks, Dale, number 498 as Robin Hood was never incorporated as a village, always a hamlet, a ward of the RM. And this looks like a store, in which may have been the post office. John Wilson opened up the post office in this area on November the 1st, 1923, and it was closed by James Lloyd Bouvier, April 30th, 1970, and it might have been in that store-like looking building, somebody's house now, and it might have been at the time. Not sure whose church this was. A viewer suggests that it was likely Lutheran, perhaps based on evidence of the nearby graveyard. Robin Hood was originally named Robin after Robin School Number 4196, but the post office confused it with Robins, Nova Scotia, and so the name had to be changed. And that looks like a pet right there, keeping a, a wary eye on an intruding photographer. This is all stagnant ice moraine in through here, although there are some areas very flat. Farming settlers began arriving in this area in the 19 aughts, cleared the bush and planted what they could. And the population was augmented during the 1930s when dust bowl conditions in southern Saskatchewan drove refugees north. You see the name Carlson or Larson quite frequently in the neighborhood of Robin Hood, Saskatchewan.